Before we get started with today's video, I want us to really affirm ourselves. There's a lot of negativity out of the natural hair space, and I want to use this time to reflect on how perfect your hair is. Repeat after me. My hair is perfect exactly the way that it is. Inhale, exhale, and believe it. You want to see how I went from this to this? Stay tuned for the rest of the video. But first, have you subscribed? Have you hit that bell to let you know when I have a new video out? Come on, let's go. So I love crown paint colors, and I've been thinking about just growing my color out and playing around with temporary colors. Today, I'm going to be using neon purple and neon pink. My hair is perfect exactly the way that it is, and I'm starting this new weekly wash day routine so you could see that natural hair is perfect um, there are no faults there are no damages just reframing our thinking around the hair that goes out of our head recently i've changed my routine where i use a tar shampoo and I use a moisturizing shampoo afterwards because my scalp loves it. So that's what I use on my hair before I started spraying with this Salerm. It's like a heat protectant that also straightens at the same time because I want a little bit more hang time with my twist out this time. I like to detangle with the detangling brush here, but for my conditioner, I did not uh, use a brush. I just use my fingers. Uh, but you didn't see the shampoo and conditioning section. So this is the neon purple from Crown Paint. And it feels kind of like a shadow. It has some shea butter and glycerin. You could check out the ingredients and the website so you could see. And I layer really lightly at first, but I like a lot of color. So as you layer, um, just be mindful to sit under the dryer or dry your hair with it because the transfer will be a little strong. I like to take a little bit of Anita Afro Balm and some more of that color because it's really hydrating and bright. I want a brighter purple. So I just take a small section and then I twist my hair. And that's what I did for the rest of my head. My head is pretty big, so it took a little bit, but I did it and I wanted a smaller twist out so I could have it for the next day to be a little fluffy and curlier. So this is the result, and then I put pink at the ends, which I didn't show you, but here are the two colors that I used. So from here, I decided now I'm about to go to a little event, so I wanted to unravel really gently without having to cause any frizz. And it turned out pretty nice. Um, I use my pick to lift my roots and I learned this trick from a fellow YouTuber and um, Instagrammer. I'm going to put her name on the picture where she sprays her twist outs. I use the Curl Smith Flawless Finish because it's a soft hold and it was kind of humid outside. So this is the thing that I'll start doing with my twist outs is spraying them. And it turned out so beautiful. The color is just immaculate. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. My hair is perfect exactly the way that it is, even with a few enhancements. Bye.